today we're going to be reviewing the Reds Fire Station playset. I got this on Amazon for about 12 bucks. Usually it retails for 20 bucks, but I had some coupons available on my account, so that's how I was able to get it for cheaper. This is the latest set in the cars on the uh hold on, wait, what why does it say cars on the road? I don't remember this being in the show at all. I don't remember Radiator Springs catching on fire and Red even having a scene. Bruh, I don't even remember this building showing up in the show. Like, they hardly spent any time in Radiator Springs in the show. I don't know why they made a set dedicated to it. Make that two. And they connect both of them together. They're also coming out with a dinosaur playset. I did order that one already on Amazon, so I'll be taking a look at that one soon on the channel, so stay tuned. There's the back of the box. Uh, I'm still pretty pissed that Mattel never finished the precision series collection but um i guess this is better than nothing we finally have some sort of version of the courthouse that's available widely to the public that you can somehow make fit into your precision series layout sure it's a little small and goofy in size but let's go ahead and open it and take a look at it all right so open out of the box look at this it has a water fountain that's really cool i'm gonna switch my stanley for this one because that's just really cool. So here's the base. Look, it even has like the things like inside of a fire station. Mm. It has like little fire parts. It has a like a water hose too. And it moves up and down. That's that's pretty sick, I'll admit. More fire, more road, the new pieces with the new connectors. You got Red's flowers from the first movie. Now, honestly, this is a W set already. And then for the actual Red car, let me see if I can take it out with my scissors. There it is. It is plastic and smaller than the actual die cast, but we'll compare that one in just a bit. Right now, we're going to assemble all of this and even put on the stickers as well. So let's start the assembly. So here it is out of the packaging, and I gotta admit, I really, really love how this looks. I just don't like the fact that there's not a wall here and no doors here, and the fact that this door is a sticker. But I really do like the new Stanley statue with the flowers going along, and of course, little spraying fountain of water. I really love that feature. All of this is basically extra road that you get included for the play features. So basically the way it works, you can be in there, I guess, right? And uh, you can sort of just tip him over. There's a little lever right there. Push him. He flies out. Woo, woo. Right? Like, you know, puts out the fire. That falls. <laughs> and then you go through there. And that falls again. Pretty simple. And then there's a little off ramp. And you can connect this to the other on the road sets. But comparing this little red to the normal diecast one. It is 2023 now. So this line is basically dead. Um, they are releasing, I think, the normal size of this red this year with a Stanley statue. So hopefully the deluxes aren't completely dead. But for now, the only way you can get a red is in this small playset form. Back when the first Cars movie diecast line came out, he was this size. And unfortunately, I don't have a, a small size red to compare it to. So this is my first uh, small variation of him. But in comparison to the much larger one that came years after you can pretty much tell the difference. And I'm really glad they upscaled him years later. I'm glad they noticed their mistake of how small they initially made him. But yeah, he's missing a lot of his chrome details. Um, and that's pretty much it. Red doesn't have that many decals or stickers or anything major going to him. It's just a silver and gray that makes him stand out. But everything else is there. The headlights are all painted in, his nose as well, his lights at the top. It's just the side panels and instead of silver, they are painted in gray. On the sides at least and then the back it's just this uh front plate that's all in red instead of silver or gray but other than that he looks exactly the same uh color wise i don't see that many differences so not a bad variation at all now a size comparison with let's say mater yeah he is the almost exact same size as mater which is pretty ridiculous and then if you compare him to like lightning mcqueen 
yeah, it's a pretty ridiculous uh, size. That is inaccurate. But if you do this, uh, it looks, you know, a little bit better. So that's just a little uh, compression on the vehicles. But let's see if this will fit here. The regular size red. It will not work at all. Yeah, I see why they downscaled them. Only for the purpose of this playset. That's uh, a little disappointing. You can't use a regular red inside of the actual station. He has to be sitting outside. And does he fit on the actual road piece? No, he does not. He doesn't even fit on the road. So, already two little neat picks. It's just the, the red, honestly, the size is the scaling of the whole set. Because honestly, I'm going to use this when I build my precision series table whenever I do. And it looks extremely tiny in comparison to, you know, the rest of the town. But I mean, at the same time, this is going to supposedly be in scale with all those other small sets. So, I mean, it's a hit or miss, really. I mean, you can't really complain. It's for kids. It's not a premium die cast line collection like the precision series it's for the younger audience i mean what else can you say but it's a it's a decent set for what you get i mean for 12 bucks i think it's worth it 20 bucks yeah i wouldn't go higher than that but if you can get it for like 10 or 12 bucks definitely get it i definitely see this hitting big lots ross or marshall's in a couple of months maybe by the end of the year and hopefully you'll be able to get it for Maybe 12 to 15 bucks, just like the Rusty's Dynical Center last year. There's the back of the place. It is pretty detailed. There's this little water hose. You can detach the actual hose itself. Can't really connect it to anything, can you? Actually, you can. Look at that. Red has a little hole on the side, both sides, and I'm pretty sure you can connect that to him. Yes, you can. Look at that. That is actually kind of cool. You can connect red to the hose. He's got a bunch of other little details in there. They're all stickers, but, you know, that actually looks kind of neat. Now, looking at the instructions, how does it say to play with this? To play, race to fire, connect the pump, lift to race, dry pass to activate the fountain. Yep, so pretty much the way I demonstrated in the video is the same way that you're supposed to use it. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this review. Let me know if you'll be getting it or not. Piston Cup Productions signing out, and I will see you guys next time.